What's up, friends? Man, it's been a while since I've gotten a chance to, to hang out with you guys and talk and, and paint. And as you can see, we've got a giant canvas here today. It's the biggest one I've ever painted on. This is three feet long by one foot wide. And this is a gallery wrap canvas. I uh, hit up Michael's on that 70% off sale and I felt like I was robbing the place. It was awesome. Um, yeah, so, um, so we got a whole bunch of bright colors today. Uh, and a couple dark ones. So we've got uh, this blue has a little bit of tealish in it, but it's kind of a light blue. We've got this uh, red violet. Then we have a true violet. Coral! White, titanium white, and black. Yeah, guys, this is awesome. Okay, so my face is up in this corner, and I know... That's not the traditional place where a face cam goes, but that's where it's going to go on this week. And that's just what it is. But uh, we wanted to make sure and fit it. I was going to try to get yellow in this mix, but I think I've already got plenty of paint. But I think that would have been a nice little pop. But um, yeah, so that's nice. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is I want to take five different dirty pour cups. And so we got these bad boys right here. And do three on the bottom, two on the top. And set my stuff on the ground for a second here. I'm not going to put any silicone other than the stuff that's going to be in the cup. And I know that's some, that's not a whole lot, but it's some. You have no idea how excited I am to be doing this because I've had no painting. I've been installing tubs, I've been building new walls, I'm installing doors, I'm fixing woodworking. Ah! I'm so ready to be done with all this business. Um, you know what? Uh, someday I want to do a canvas that's big enough. I've got some, um, some of the larger 16 inch by 20 inches. That could be kind of cool to, to do it on. So anyway, what I'm thinking is I'm going to put white on three of them. I'm going to put white in all of them, but it's going to be the base in three of them. And it's just going to be an accent in, in the other ones. And then black will be the base on like this. So we'll have one white on the top, black in the middle, and one white on top. I'm not sure if I already said that. If I did, I said it again. All right, now excellent. So we have our cups arranged as so. Um, we will put a touch of black, not much, just a dab, just a dab really. And uh, uh, yeah, if you're one of my, my uh, friends from the UK, uh, let me know how that accent went, because I've been practicing that a really long time. And, uh, uh, yes, I would quite like a critique on my uh, British accent. Unless you think it's bad, then shut up. Just kidding, that wasn't nice. All right, so I think... Let's put some of the brighter colors in the black and some of the darker shades in the white. I mean, of course, we're going to put them in all of them, but I want to have uh, maybe like a darker half, lighter half of the canvas. Uh huh. Excellent. Very nice. Now, what we're going to do now, uh, let me see if I can't get just a touch of coral in here. They call this island orange. I'm pretty sure it's just coral. I was going to try to get it in all of the cups, all the colors in varying degrees, in all of the uh, 
in all of the cups, but that's not happening. One or two. Oops. Well, that happened. Just touch over here. Just get a little dab, do you? All right. <laughs> so one year, um, I'm I love character skits when I'm teaching kids. I love to do it, and they love to have like uh, they love to have my really ridiculous characters. Um, like once I did a character called the Bad Joke Baby, and I talked like Baby Huey the whole time. Um, and then, uh, at, a, at another one, I did this, this character, his name was Skeeter and it, he was a S Skeeter, the scuba diving, uh, Skeeter, the scuba diver, and he owned a sausage shack. And so the whole time I was talking to the kids, I was talking to him like this in my deepest Southern draw, deepest one I could get. And, um, they just absolutely loved it. The whole thing, they ate it right on up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun teaching like that. But I actually, uh, to, yesterday was my last day working with kids. And now we'll be moving over to Texas. So Stephanie Barleski asked me if I would give some details on that move. Because uh, she's from over here and uh, from over here in Washington. That's where we're from right now. I'm shooting this from the Seattle area. So anyway, gosh, I hope I have enough paint. I'm going to put the rest of this black in the blacks. Um, just a dab there. I've never done a canvas this big. Okay, so anyway, Stephanie was asking about some details for the move, and so... I said, you know what, I'll, I'll just tell everybody at once. And so what's happening is i um, got family down in Texas in the Austin area. And Austin is awesome. I kept telling my wife that I would not move to Austin. I don't care if, like, no matter who's there, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. She was like, well, okay, fine, just, just go visit. And so I visited, and it was awesome. They closed down a bridge for a Bone Thugs and Harmony, Harmony concert. Like, I mean, I don't listen to Bone Thugs anymore, but I used to be a huge fan. And uh, I just thought it was awesome that they closed down a bridge, like a major bridge out of downtown for a Bone Thugs concert. It was super cool. Anyway, that has nothing to do with paint, and uh, we're going to get to flipping. Okay. So, guys, I'm a little bit nervous, not going to lie. I'm just going to go ahead and call a spade a spade because, oh, so this is like a lot of the pouring medium that I made. Okay, let's just do it. Boom. Oh, didn't even spill it. No. Boom. I'm like a freaking flipping ninja. <laughs> a freaking flipping. Oh, man. You know what? Even if I don't amuse any of you, I amuse myself doing this. Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right. Uh, I'm going to move this around just a little bit. Help this bad boy flow just in case. Actually, that's pretty rad in itself. Like as we kind of... I might do that for a flip cup one day. Do that on a canvas just with these. I know you can't tell. Man, I'm going to have to work on my camera situation. Because I really like that uh, I can do the face cam at the same time. With the face in the thing. But I don't like that you can't see how rich and vibrant and electric these colors are right now. Like this... 
Straight up coral. Uh, this violet, red violet. Oh man, like it's really bright. I'm gonna have to figure out why I'm, my colors are washed out. No me gusta. That means I don't like. Let's just pull them up now. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it and see what happens. Could be awesome, could not be. I think I'm gonna wish I made more paint, guys. I'm no expert. I just play one on TV. Hmm. Uh, gonna torch some this is sick right here though i'm gonna have to get you guys down okay that's what's gonna happen i'm gonna get you down so you guys can get a closer in on these uh no i think i wasn't careful enough on this one I knew I was going to have to avoid the mud colors, the ones that are straight across from each other on a color wheel. But, um... I think I wasn't careful enough. Alright, so... I guess I'm just going to tilt a little bit. And um, where it is, I just used it. And I kind of cleaned it and I put it away. By cleaned it, I mean I ran cloth over it. Man, this is a freaking huge canvas. And this was a black-based one cup. It does not look black-based at the moment. Shoot. Okay. All right. I'm making more white. <sighs> it's going to make fart noises again, and I'm going to laugh like I'm 12. All right, I guess we avoided 12 year oldness for the moment. All right, so this is uh, Will's pouring medium. And this one is the one that I specifically made for the inks. And it is um, one part gloss medium, uh, one part book binders glue, and one part I don't know what the other part is. Um, it's slipping my mind at first. Oh, Floetrol. One part Floetrol, one part pouring medium, and one part... Um, one part gloss medium, one part book binders glue, one part Floetrol. <laughs> there. <laughs> we got it out. Oh, stop doing that. Don't pour off the side yet. I need you need all that paint. All right. I want to be careful not to tilt this too much also, just because I don't want my cells to get all jacked up. And what I mean by tilt too much, just like tilt too much in one direction. Um, I mean, uh, if you keep changing directions, your cells get out of round. I don't like when my, I mean, it's not the worst thing to have all zigzaggedy lines, but it's not my favorite. I think I remember Anne Marie saying something about that too. Yeah, well, anyway. Ah, all right. It's done. I hope.
And stir that as well as I thought I had. Get back in the cup. You get back in the cup. Get back in the cup. I got up some of this other paint. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal though. It'll be slightly pinker, but it'll still be quite white. Just out of my hand. There it is. All right, there we go. I let the gold dry on there. Now it doesn't want to come off. doing right now is just spreading it out through this little areas that they're each of them are in and I really did not stir that white as well as I thought I had I was trying to hurry that's what I get for trying to be all conscientious and stuff that into man I went out out of my way to make sure that I'd pre-stirred everything and I didn't make enough paint and then the white I didn't mix up Clumpy and chunky. Lame. Lame, 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 lame. Lame. Although, it is going to be quite interesting to see how this, um, this on the outside turns out with the uh, different because they're all slightly different like the this is got gray and whatever streaks through here See if I can't get some of this black out of here too. So, um, since I've got so much color contamination over here, uh, um, I think I'm going to end up 
pouring this direction. I really do like when my edges stay um, stay feathery and my stuff looks organic. And right here it almost looks like a no, not organic. That's not the right word. I don't. I like it clean. Almost done here. All right, now I'm going to wipe my my knife, and we are going to um, start tilting a little bit, see what we can get connected, and and what's just not meant to be. Uh, And on this one, I think I might just paint the sides black, just straight up black, just because I'm not going to have enough paint here to go over the sides. So since I don't have enough paint for the sides, I'm not even going to try. All right, let's start tilting a little bit and see where we get. And okay, so Wow, it's so, oops, so weird to watch the way things flow sometimes. Before it moves anymore, I'm going to torch it one last time so we can open up some cells and, uh, well, not that cells are the end all be all, but these ones will be round because we tilted the crap out of it. Now, if we torch it again, um, the ones that it opens up will be. trying to trace this line right here that Oops. 
sometimes I notice that um, if I make a muddy area, if you torch that that area specifically, then it'll sometimes it'll pull back. Okay. Oops. Okay, what is said at the beginning? Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna send it back that other way now. I know what I just said about not liking to change directions so many times on it. But I actually kind of like the way some of this is coming out now that I'm tilting off some of the parts I don't like. pour a little bit off this end too. Actually I'm uh, happily surprised on how well some of this actually, uh, how well some of this um, words, words, uh, how some of this is turning out. Just because I really didn't expect And this right here, this is bright, vivid teal. I think I've overexposed everything. Because it's not picking up the... Oh, there's a lot of beautiful things and it's not getting all of it. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can't change the exposure just a second so you can get a look at how this actually looks because it's, it's really blown out right now. Oh, I'm just drying off my hands so I don't... All right, back, ah, yeah, we're done.
Mm, won't let me do it while it's active. Oh, will it? It's closer. Ah, oh, there we go. We're getting closer. All right. Much better. Much, much, much better. All right, there we go. Sorry I didn't have it set like that from the beginning. Yeah, okay, much better. All right, so you know what? I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. And um, yeah, let me see if I can get you down a little bit. So we can just take a gander, see at some of these closer, finer details here. Most likely I'm going to repaint this canvas, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it dries. It's still setting up a bit. Who knows? All right, friends, thank you for watching. Uh, you know what? If you like the video and you like uh, videos of this kind and this guy and stuff, would you reach down there and click either subscribe or if you're already a subscriber, would you click like? I'd really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow and um, and I need it. And I'd really love it. And you guys are awesome. And that's it. Guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.